Good morning, everyone. Welcome to PowerShell for SQL Server DBS and a happy new year to you. Today, we are just going to have a look how to install SQL Server service pack using DBA tools.io. Okay, when we have to make sure that to complete this task, DBA tools must be installed on your destination computer. To verify it, just run the below script and we can get an output that DBA tools module does exist on this server, specific server machine. Let's go ahead and look into our code. Okay, first line get build reference will give you give us the latest service pack details of our version we are looking into. For example, if I execute this third line, get DBA build reference followed with the major version of 2017 and service pack 2. Okay, I'm just executing it. Okay, and don't get confused from SQL Server 2017. There are no such service packs available over there. Only cumulative CU updates are available. Okay. Okay, if if and here in the output we can see the latest build service pack available. I mean see community update available is 14.0.3257. Okay, and let's have a look at our current instance and its work details. And here you can see I have SQL Server 2017 installed over there. Let's go ahead and check the version of Let's check the version of our SQL Server and here we can see it is SQL Server 2017 RTM and its version is 14.0.1 triple zero point one six nine okay then let's get back to our and here we are going to get the list of servers in this example i i have my local machine which is server name as server 55 and if you want to execute this script on multiple servers multiple servers having them in same domain or else different domains you can use this script will here we have to define the number of servers and username get credentials it is going to get and we have to specify which location from which location cumulative updates must be installed and we have to define the version okay this is same everything will be same update dba instance followed with the server name restart cumulative version is 2017 rtm cu 16 okay and same i am just doing the same for my local machine server list in the server list server name is defined even if you are dealing with the local machine or is a default instance not local machine if you are going with the default instance instead of specifying the server name you can just specify environment computer name when i execute this it will return me the host name okay thereafter i am going to collect the credentials for my server Okay, make sure that this server, this local and this user has proper administrative credentials to install service pack. Okay, and I am going to define the which version of SQL Server cumulative update must be installed over there. And here, this is the path where I have stored my service pack files. Okay. And by using this script, you can install service packs for 2000, 2005, 2002, latest version of SQL Server. Okay. And thereafter, 
credentials which it is going to collect it from my keyboard and pass it as a credentials and the versions we have defined it as sql server 2017 cu 18 there afterwards restart and confirm okay in this example i am not going to restart this that's why i am going to comment it out okay let's go ahead and execute the script yes it is now going to ask the password now you can see say yes to all now you can see it is going to install service pack on my machine let's wait for a while once service pack is installed completed yeah now we can see that our installation is completed successfully okay and here are the details in the first line let us have it here it is now updated to 14.0.3257 which is cu18 kb level is 4527377 okay and restarted is false let's go ahead and restart it now Okay, before restarting, let's check the version of it. It is 14.0.100.169. Now let's log into that machine. Open SQL Server Management Studio. script is available in the description you can download from there even bye